Hey guys, Steve Petrato here from Blade. Some of you may have noticed that we've been including copper tape in the new 350QXs leaving the factory, and we wanted to show you how to use that today. The reason why we're including this is that it blocks any unwanted RF noise coming from your action camera, and that gives you the best performance with your GPS on the 350QX. So we'll go ahead and pull it out of the bag here. You're gonna notice there's a T-shaped uh, sticker, and there's also a rectangular shaped one. Now, we like to actually fold these before we start anything. So you'll take your camera, you're gonna place it on this flat part, and then we're gonna fold up the top, just kinda like that, get a nice crease on the tape there, and then we'll just go around the edges, fold this side, and fold this side. Now you, this copper tape's pretty forgiving, so you, can, you don't have to be perfect here. So once you've got that, Turn uh, all folded up, then we'll take our rectangular piece and we'll go around the back here. And we'll just kind of set this one up in the center. And we're going to fold one side over and then fold the other side over. Don't have to be perfect again, it's pretty forgiving. Only thing you want to make sure you do is that if you, there are creases here, you want to make sure that this piece covers up all of the, all of the holes so that no RF escapes out of the copper. Once you have them folded up nice, you're going to go ahead and leave this T-shaped one alone. Leave that on the camera. We're going to go ahead and peel the sticky tape, or the sticky copper, off of this. Careful when you do this so it doesn't stick together on itself. And then we'll go ahead and take the T-shaped one, place it over the GoPro again. Try to get it as close to possible as perfect. And then we'll go ahead and lay this copper right about there. Stick it on nice. Flatten it all down. And now we'll go ahead and lay go ahead and lay this out along the back side. There we go. Flatten it down on the back and then fold it over the last edge. Again, trying to make sure that you cover up all the holes of the front piece. Okay, now that you've got this case, it's gonna look like a nice little rectangle. That's gonna be your shield for the back of the GoPro. Now, you can use this in the action case or your waterproof case, as you see here. All you'll need to do is place it on the GoPro and place it in the case and it will fit pretty well. There you go. But if you want to use it on the lightweight case that we provide in the box with the 350, you can do that as well. However, some trimming may be required. For example, when we place it in here, we'll just need to trim out the bottom edges a little bit so that it fits cleanly in there, depending on how you build it. If you do it perfectly, you may not have to trim it, but most times you have to trim it. So that's basically, that's basically it. Trim, your, uh, trim up your case, put it in there, and you'll have a lot better GoPro performance. Again, we still don't recommend using Wi-Fi with the 350QX, but your GPS performance much, will be much improved now that we've blocked any RF noise coming from your camera. Hope this helped, guys. Have fun with your 350QX.